my way. Is this guy supposed to be the ultimate badass? Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we want to talk about the Cowboys post game. Cowboys get clobbered by the 49ers. Come on, time. This is the latest edition. Boom, baby. Boom. All right. What's up, man? <laughs> How are you guys feeling about this team? I said 0 and 5 after the bye week. All right. Obviously, I didn't think they were going to beat the 49ers, but you have a couple other teams here the rest of the way that are going to put up points. They have pretty decent defenses. They got Atlanta next, you know. Uh, Washington, they're they're there on the, on the next five games. I think you got Seattle. You just got teams here that I don't think they're going to win. You know what I mean? And you got a lot of drama now behind the scenes here. You know, talking about Rico Dowdle. I think they made that up. You know what I mean? Not, not You know, supposedly he was sick, but then they went with... Uh, you know, Zeke and uh, Dolphin Cook, they didn't do anything. You know what I mean? Just as, just as I had predicted, uh, Cook, he's washed up, man. He, he I, I tweeted this earlier, man. He is this year's Christian Michael. You know, when we, when we had issues with running back, when we didn't have a starter, and we were searching for any guy under a rock, oh, Christian Michael, the former Seattle Seahawks, that's who we're at now, man. Like, we, we have to draft... A running back in the off season, you know what I mean. That's the only way. Right now, they're just getting by, and it, it's it just ain't gonna work, bro. They're they're one dimensional, and uh, they can't beat the boogeyman, and and that includes Dak Prescott, bro. This guy, it's in his head. He cannot beat these guys, bro. And and you saw it, you know, after that second interception, it it, it deflated the whole team. And this has happened every time they play the 49ers. They stay competitive, but once this dude starts throwing interceptions, there comes out of the air balloon, they fall apart, wheels fall off, and they get their ass whooped. So, you know, if you're gonna face these types of guys in, in the playoffs and he cracks under pressure, you know, it just, you're, you're wasting your time, all right? You're wasting your time here, all right? You're wasting the careers of players here, you know, of, of really good players. You're, you're, you're wasting the careers. So, but, you know, that's their guy. And then you still have people here that don't see it, bro. It, it, it's it truly is sad, dude. It truly is sad. that they, they will die on the hill, man. And they're going to die. They're, they've already died on the hill. You got four more years of this crap, bro. Oh, we're going to bring in Ben Johnson. Maybe if Shanahan gets fired, we hire him. You can't teach an old dog tricks, bro. All right. If the Cowboys have any sense at all, and they don't, I don't trust these guys drafting anymore, bro. I, I don't, man. They need to have a. They need to have the next guy coming up for the quarterback. Start drafting next year. Use a first or whatever the fuck you need to do, man. But. Dak ain't the guy, man. <laughs> he's not, dude. He, he, he's not. You know, and it, it wouldn't have mattered if they had Michael Parsons in this game, dude. You know what I mean? They know how to scheme against this team. Shanahan owns the Cowboys. You know what I mean? So, it's going to be a long-ass season, dude. <laughs> and I'm not, like I said, I'm not even mad anymore in these, these post-games, but... What, what what I what I want want to lean in in is the the drafting, bro, and 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 what is this team going to do in the future? They really need this. The, they really need to, to consider what are they going to do in the future, man. Is it going to be the same old? You know, just build a team to the draft. You know, not draft a quarterback in the first round since nineteen eighty nine pre fucking internet. Can you comprehend that? They don't even try, man. And I, man, I honestly don't know. I don't know if they're gonna do it because every year they have so many holes where they get the built-in excuse. They have a built-in excuse, like, oh well, 
we have Dak, you know, four, four more years. We got to give him weapons. We got to give him a running back. We got to shore up the O-line. You replace one guy, another guy ages, he 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 falls out. You got to replace this guy. You got a defensive end who's aging. He's He probably gets released. You got to replace him. You know, it's just a constant cycle of ignoring the most important position on the team. And that's your quarterback. You know? How, I mean... Oh man, it's getting it's getting harder and harder to, to make these videos, man. Um, to get excited, you're, there's there's no excitement, dude. Like, what, what's there to look forward to? I'm gonna keep watching these guys, man. But I'm almost like <laughs> tuning in for the laughs now. It's sad, dude. I'm I'm not even tuning in to. Oh yeah, I'm gonna work, kick this guy's ass. It's, this team is a joke right now. It, they're literally a joke, man. I'm watching this team and I'm laughing. You look at that effort on the defensive line. They just stand up out of their stance and there's no push, dude. Those guys have checked out, man. This, this, this team looks looks really bad, man. They uh Oh, we're going to get back to fundamentals. All lies, man. They they're checked out on the lame duck, man. You know what I mean? What are they going to do <laughs> for the next head coach? Is what I'm very interested in. And in that, are you going to tweak your drafting? And are you going to tweak how you bring in free agents? Those two parts are important. But like I said in my other video, if they keep Jerry as your GM and they don't have a, a you know, a, a, a president of football operations, you know, like, like the 49ers do with John Lynch or how, the Broncos had with John Elloway, nothing is going to change with this team. You can bring in the all-time Super Bowl winning coach, Bill Belichick, in here. It's not going to make a difference. You know what I mean? They may be competitive again. They may make up, they may make some playoff appearances again, but then you got you got Dak who cracks under pressure. You know what I mean? Are you, are you going to let the next head coach draft his own damn quarterback? Or are you gonna hand them the net? It's all these coaches that we've had here. They get the hand. They get the hand me downs. Nobody gets to draft a first round quarterback. They get hand me downs. You know what I mean? Parcells had Romo. Garrett came in here. He got the hand me down with Romo. They did the best they could. And then Dak Prescott came in, and and Mike McCarthy, here's the hand-me-down of Dak Prescott. I'm aging already. He's already in his 30s. It's a young man's league. I've been telling you guys forever. And a lot of people are starting to see it. It is a young man's league. You know what I mean? You got to have balls. You got to draft quarterbacks, man. Yeah, you're going to miss here and there. And some of these teams have learned that. But then they, they they finally hit on their guy. Look at the look at Washington right now. You know, the, the, the Ravens. You know, for a while, they were missing on their picks. So they got Lamar. You know, you got the Jaden Daniels kid looks good. You know, the Bears look like they hit on Caleb, you know, maybe, you know. But it's going to be a long season, bros. Let me know what you guys think about the Cowboys. What, what is the state of the Cowboys in your opinion? You know what I mean? Are you are you tuning in just for the laughs? <laughs> or are you tuning in thinking that these guys can somehow miraculously turn this thing around? Or, or is it over? You know what I mean? I said six to seven wins this season, you know, on the Frisco report and on my other video, I'm sticking with that number right now. We're three and four, you know what I mean? Who on the schedule do you, do you think we have almost a guaranteed win? Obviously there's no guarantees in the NFL, but the Panthers is one. You should be able to beat the giants and sweep them. That's two. But where do the other wins come from, dude? Seriously. You know what I mean? I don't these guys are gonna beat Philly. Philly's a better team right now. You know what I mean? I hate to say that. But they're a better team. Washington's a better team. You know what I mean? Uh, so <clears throat> what do you guys think, man? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you for the next one. Peace. Yeah. Old school, baby.